Hi, this is a video how to put your vlogging equipment together with you with the Ulanzi V2 case. Now I'm going to show you step by step how to put it all together. Right, first of all, you've got to have your Ulanzi V2 case. And what we do is we remove the back cover here. Now we press down on this. We press down on this little button here. And as we press down, you'd hear that, that will slide and we slide that out. Next, we get our GoPro camera. Now this could be the five, the six, or the seven. I have the seven, so just before we put that into the case, we have to remove the door. Now to remove the door, you push down on that button, slide forward, tilt up at roughly a 45 degree angle, keeping that up and just slightly pull, and that separates. Put that safe, I suggest you put it in your pocket and keep, keep that safe because you don't want to lose that door. Next we get the frame, put the camera in that way as you can see, so the camera fits in that way and it drops down in there, no problem. We replace back the case. Snap that closed. Now we got that open. Next, we get the overpriced GoPro microphone adapter. And we, you can slide it in any way. It doesn't have to, it can be that way or it could be that way. It's up to you which way you really wanna put that. So I say, let's try it this way then. So it's like that. So there's the hole. We don't wanna push it in that hole not that one, not that side, we want to push it in that side. So that goes in there. You might have to jiggle it around a bit. And that slides into there. Now it's a snug fit, so it won't drop in like the camera, you have to give it a nice push and that's in. Now, next is to connect this to the camera. Now, do not connect it like that, because you'll eventually damage this. So what you want to do is as you hold the frame here, what you want to do is you're going to do a twist action, a twist motion here. So what you do is you twist it back on itself. And then as you're doing that, twisting it back on itself, you place it into the hole, into the socket, sorry. And you should have this kind of swan neck configuration. Now that's how it will look from the side, this kind of swan neck. And if we turn it round, you can see that it's literally flush, uh, running parallel then with the camera body. So that keeps it nice and compact and it will not damage the wire. So we've done that. Next, we can, what well, I suggest uh, using a pistol grip or you can use a selfie stick, um, selfie pole. It is up to you, but for now we'll use the pistol grip we put the camera down, we unscrew the bolt. Now I hold in the pistol grip that way. So, and then we put that together. We find the hole and we screw that in. So now we've got our camera on the pistol grip 
And next, we get our microphone. Now I'm using the Boya BYMM1. I'll leave a description up here so you can uh, watch that video of it. Now it's up to you, you can either leave this um, extra piece here on the cold shoe mount. It depends if you're just using the microphone as it is like that. But if you're going to use it with the, with the dead cat there, I suggest you use that um, to raise it up. Otherwise you'll get the dead cat in your shot when you're using super view. We screw on the microphone and tighten it up. So that's in the cold shoe mount, slides in there and then we tighten with that. Right, next we get the cable. Obviously you need a TRS cable for the microphone. So that plugs into the back. And then on the other side, we still have a TRS connection there as you can see and that gets plugged in to that socket there now it must be a TRS connection uh, socket um, jack and that gets plugged into that there so now we've got that set up and we're almost finished now if you want if you're doing indoors vlogging this setup is brilliant You'd be all right with this setup as it is you'd be all right with that but if you're going outside you have to put the dead cat on otherwise you'll get the wind noise and that's how it looks with the dead cat now try it in super view to see if you don't get the bottom of this dead cat if you do get the bottom of this dead cat then take it off super view and try wide or narrow or linear uh, for the views to get rid of this dead cat but that is your perfect vlogging setup or your setup in general uh, for a good um, for a good picture and audio for your camera now this setup is good as long as you're using the power off the battery um, for the GoPro. Now what about if you are taking it longer than that and you only got one battery or you just want continuous power. So I'll show you another, another way. Now if you want continuous power you have to get yourself one of these. Now this is a power grip and it's made by a Chinese company and you can buy these off Amazon. Uh, they mainly name as power hand grips. Um, so you can buy these. Now they come in various sizes. Some of them are half this size. Some of them are uh, this length. I think this is the maximum length one that you can buy. Some of them are half the size and this has a 5200 milliamp so it's enough to power your GoPro for most of the day now with this power grip now I have put in the prescription uh, I put a prescription up here uh, prescription a description up here tag up here so you can go to the video uh, my video about the unboxing of this and but basically uh, you charge this from uh, with a micro USB and that's your so that's the charge in and this is the charge out to your camera now I'll show you this one now so basically we connect up this power grip power grip handle uh, so bear with me because it's so it's a bit tricky when you're doing it behind the camera. We screw in back the nuts. Or the screw, sorry, the no, nut. We screw that in. Now, as you can see, you want to screw it if you've got this particular power handle. 
So the power is on the same side as the adapter here. And next you need, which you, I should suggest that you invest in, you can pick up these from Amazon for about four pounds, um, eBay for about one pound fifty or even less. And this is a short micro US, USB C uh, to USB lead. And this is the shortest one I could find on there. And what we do is we plug that into here. And we plug the other into the side of the of the microphone adapter here, and that gets plugged in. And as you can hear, you heard that snap in. I'll do it again. There, that snaps in, and that's it now. And the GoPro, um, we switch it on because that's got to be powered on. The mine, that's it there. And now the GoPro now will be powered by this. Now so once I switch this on, I just about can see it. Hold on. Yeah. That's it there. And we plug that in. That's it, all right. I, I try my best to do it, but I don't think it's gonna come up on there. But now this GoPro, the battery, the battery symbol is down here. And if I turn this, I've gotta get the camera right. There it is, there it is. Right, um, I'll bring it down, but I don't think it will pick up on my phone. But basically the battery light here, uh, battery sign there is, is now got a, a lightning um, symbol in there and it's being powered so now this GoPro now is being powered off this power grip and I could go all day with this I'll see if it's on the front there oh this it's actually written on the front you can actually see it now there it is so my this vlogging setup is now self-powered so I can literally vlog all day with this setup. So, and we'll pull this back down just to show you. So I'll show you one more time. There it is. That's being powered by the power grip. A worthwhile investment. It is a good investment to have. Um, as I says, I'll leave a link telling you about this and you can get buy these off Amazon or eBay. And that is your powered vlogging setup. And you wouldn't need to change the battery all day. That's it, you've got power constantly with this. So if you want a small setup in your hand, I suggest you use the pistol grip. It's more of a, a natural holding grip than these um, round cylindrical um, bars or um, selfie sticks it's a more of a natural grip and I've done a video on this on the pistol grip and what we'll do now is take it all apart so we re first of all form in the screw we take the cord out so the cord comes off power off the camera we remove the screw take the power handle off now don't you don't have to press this again once it's disconnected it will shut down We remove the cord for the microphone. We remove the mic. And 
the dead cat. Next we take out the cord here. Remember, remember that's the way you want to do it. You want to kind of swan neck configuration at the side. So we take that out. And that comes out. And then we take the camera out. There's the case. And that door, which you had in your pocket, hopefully, or somewhere safe, you attach it back. There. Close it up. And that's it. And that is your compact, perfect vlogging setup with the Ulanzi V2 case. Anyway, that's the end of my video. Thank, do me a favor, please like, please subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks very much.